How's it going everybody? Welcome back. It's been like a week since I posted anything, but I want to discuss about weather and waves because I have not given my personal opinion about the game yet. I have not gone into full detail about it. I've only seen clips here and there, but I'm going to just warn everybody and say this. If it's the same experience like Genshin, I am not going to be interested. I'm going to play it, but I'm not going to probably put my whole life into the game, and it's probably just going to be sitting collecting cobwebs in my storage for years and years and years, or maybe uninstall. I don't know, but there are things in this game that I need and I want for the game to succeed in my books. I don't care how many sales it makes. I just want this game to fit my personal needs and wants, okay? Everybody has their own preferences. I don't care if you are just, like, going along with the popular game. I want my own game to enjoy. I don't go by what's popular or not. I go by is it going to be a game I can enjoy myself. If it's not for me, it's for them. And if it's not for them, it's for me. You know, I'm not, I'm not favoring a game because there's so many people playing it. I want to play a game because I can enjoy it myself. So here are the things that I want and need in a game for it to succeed. And it has to relate with the gotcha games. If it's going to be a Genshin competitor or a knockoff, this game needs to have, one, unlimited stamina. Two, more resin or no, like, resin limit or, like, energy limit. Three, this game needs to have an MMO experience. If you're going to make a huge game and you are required to play online, just even play solo, you better have multiplayer. You better have, like, 20... To maybe a hundred people a server. Maybe a universal server. I cannot stand Genshin because of the fact that there's so much potential in the game. There's so much things you can do in the game. Or places to explore, for example. But you're the only one in there. Up to four people. Do you really think that's even enough for a, a massive game like Genshin that's about a hundred gigabytes? No, it's not. And that's literally a mobile game for crying out loud. The skip button is a must. The skip button is a must. I don't care about story at all. Even if it's English dub, Japanese dub, Korean dub, Chinese dub, this game needs a skip button. Nobody cares about the story. I mean, there are some people out there that care about the story, but there are others that have a very short attention span, and we just want to play the game. Not to mention, if you are a person that doesn't play the story content or play the game in general and you wait for a long amount of time, that content will add up into your profile and you will have the mentality of like not wanting to do it at all. You, you will feel unmotivated to even start any of the content at all. Like, do you guys remember um, Simru in Genshin? That content, wasn't it like 14 hours total of story content? There is no way, even I, I don't even have that story content finished. I only have the rest of that. I don't even have um, the Arshalino or Arlachino content finished. I don't even have any of the, um, the rest of the Sumeru content finished. I don't even have the rest of the friendship, uh, dating sim content finished. I got hardly anything finished now ever since I took a break from the game. Ever since I took a break after two years of playing and I came back after the three year mark, I had a whole dictionary to even start on, but I don't even want to do it. I, the last thing I was able to do was finish up the, um, the Fontaine story, the main Fontaine story with, um, I already forget her name. Farina. Farina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Farina. But other than that, like, I have no motivation at all. And I don't want to keep click, 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 clicking on everything. The game was designed to where they want you to feel like you're not paying attention. You are out of your mind going mental and that you want to complete everything as fast as you can. And then you want to spend your money instead of wasting your time. You know, like, 
the gotcha is really designed in a way to make you want to spend money, but at the same time, if you don't want to spend your money, it is really just designed to make you waste your life in their video game only, and not in, you know, anything else, and try to have your own life, basically. They want you invested in their game, and that's like any type of video game in general. They want your money. That's it. They either want your time or they want your money. This is going to be... This is, this is going to be another Genshin experience, in my opinion. This is going to be the same exact experience. And if they don't change a bunch of stuff to make it feel like it's not a gacha game, but it is a gacha game, then I'm invested. I don't care if there's, like, very attractive waifus anymore. I don't care how sick the combat looks and all flashy and all the combos. If you don't have, like... Like, um, competitiveness in the game. You don't, like, have a huge server full of players that can, you know, build guilds and interact with each other and trade, make profit off each other, make it feel like it's an MMO. Um, if you don't take away that stomach, stamina bar and you don't have a skip button and you limit how much we can do in the game, how much we can be rewarded in the game, then it's not worth my time. I finally got out of the gotcha space. I finally escaped gotcha hell. I finally escaped Genshin Impact, the game that took my life away, and I had to get it all back the hard way. Like, I finally have my car working. I'm finally paying for my own insurance. I'm finally helping out paying for rent. Um, I'm finally making more money and working more hours in my life. I'm finally... You know, socializing with my friend nowadays. Um, I'm finally able to get out of my house more often. This is just going to take my life away again. And I'm going to be a complete loser. If you play gacha games in general, you are a complete loser. And I hope you guys realize that. I hope you can accept that and come to terms with it. And let everybody know that you are self-aware of that. This is going to be the same mistake like Genshin was. Even if they fix a few things, it's going to ruin everybody's life. Regardless, I don't know why people accept that. I had to escape that, and I was in denial about it for so many years. This game needs to feel like it, mean, it has a true meaning and that I can actually enjoy gaming. Gaming nowadays just feels like it's just a chore. Gaming nowadays just feels like you have to pay a monthly fee. Gaming nowadays feels like you have to spend your money whenever something new and popular comes out. And then after you buy that, what next? Your hype for that something becomes nothing. You're like, okay, my, my, um, my energy and my excitement for this something I got. Why did I even get it? Oh, wait, there's something new. Oh, let me get that. I'm really excited. I got to grind for this. I got to save up for this. What next? When you get that over and over and over. Ah, you got it. Oh, well. It's like eating food. You're so hungry. You didn't eat any food. But when you ate food, what next? Oh, you're either, oh, I'm full. No biggie. Oh, I'm bloated, bro. I think I ate too much. Oh, crap. I have to go to the bathroom. Why did I even eat that? Literally, it's like that. Gotcha in general and Weathering Waves. Genshin. Honkai Star Rail. Blue Archive. Um, there's a bunch of other gotcha games that I can't click in my head right now the names of them, but I know what they are. Um, but... In general, you are going to be trapped in this game like a sore loser you are, wasting your life trying to, you know, play a game that has no meaning to it. Probably won't have a good story. Probably will just have attractive characters, flashy combos, and have an open world where you're the only one in there. I suggest you guys think on this. You're letting your excitement, your hype for a new gacha game get to you. Don't let it fool you. Just like Genshin did. Just like Honkai Star Rail did. Just like every other one did. I learned my mistake. I spent too much. I spent like almost $2,000 in Genshin Impact. And I'm not going to let it happen again. 
if I'm going to spend, I'm going to have to spend lightly, very lightly, or not at all, and not even play it. I'm going to give it a shot, but I guarantee you, I'm probably going to either uninstall the game or just keep it in my storage and not even play it at all. But if I do get, if I do get addicted, like I always tend to, I'll probably be a sore loser and just playing the game and getting annoyed by it. It's going to be a love-hate relationship all over again, and I am self-aware of it. So, keep an eye out. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of the gotcha mechanics, how the gotcha business works. Everything designed in the game is specifically meant for people to spend money. So, just wanted to throw that out there.